Got us as Bad Bunny over for the D1 as an assassination rogue. I love that assassin. We got Buddha over as a Nightborn mage. I like it. We got Kinnon over here, Merlin, and Parasite. It looks like Buddha is going to be first up and running versus speed. The boy is back in on oh, that team. We got ourselves a Vith. We got our. I'm going to call you Vith. Wait, Vith? I, I can't. I don't even know. Chicago, the beautiful guy, HWU. As well as Heldrock coming back into some marksman. No shot. I kind of want to see Heldrock on that MM. Oh my goodness. Do you know how much we see marksman in these? Buna absolutely getting shredded. Oh my god. His name is Speed for a reason. I mean, that was a fast takedown. <laughs> <laughs> my god first sight trying to see if we can lock him down drink it up for speed as he goes up for a quick kidney shot mid eye beam trying to see if he can back up out of there although paris that is no stranger to these rogues man trying to see if he can get around the corner he's gonna get bleeds up to speed he's gonna start cutting the boy up glaze is gonna throw in sigil of fire cinching him a speed trying to find himself a bit of a reset he's looking for a better recovery got just enough health to survive and not die that encounter but definitely needs to get himself some kind of a reset next stun out of parasite could be deadly sun trinkets it big hunt to follow speed needs an answer may not have it oh before the cloak shot is even comes up parasite is so good at locking these rogues down man is gonna go for a quick juke versus fifth trying to go for a clone is gonna disrupt it drink it to follow got him so big cleave looking to maximize the damage fifth may need some defenses for this one got him so full ink card but i don't really know barskin wall everything is available try to go for a reset clown onto parasite but he's dotted up not quite feral bleeds not as strong as feral bleeds but damn his the amount of damage he's taken right now is still quite a bit and that's a demon hunter right in his tail he will be able to spot he will be able to see him wait i thought there was a thing above your head for a second it looked like there was a trinket i don't know why he didn't trick it right he did trick it earlier with his rogue stun into bit doesn't have a trinket might be down for the count big blade dance oh my goodness the amount of damage a demon hunter can do to a leather class is a lot held rock is going to be up next giving a little bit of a breather for parasite as a marksmanship hunter though i think you will have to be extra extra deadly here may just have to get super brutal big rapid fire from a distance parasite takes damage just from an opener look how much damage this guy just took off the bat hunter man for Parasite, he's going to have to be very careful. He's got immunity. He's got mage foot sending down. Held rock force to push in. That's going to be scattering to Parasite. Oh, freezing trap. Is he trying to go for immune? Hold on, Held rock. This could be huge. That's a huge immunity. Stone onto Parasite as he gets his pet out. Rapid fire kill shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that opener helped him secure that win. Who's up next? Is it going to be Kenna? Is it going to Merlin? This is a cooldowns. This is a cooldowns for Held rock. He's like, come on, somebody. Who's go next? Go next, somebody. Next. I have CDs rolling. Oh, man. That momentum is going to go for a big CC onto Kinnon off the bat. I think try to see if he can hit him with a... Was it just trying to move the bus off of him? I think so. Volley's down. Big Chakram. That is going to be Polymer to follow. Has a trinket in case he needs to. Going to be a Polly. Trying to go for a quick stun. Hellbrock is going to try to see if he can back up out of there. Kinnon with a full ray is going to go for a bit of a feign death out of it. Kinnon not in a great spot on health. He does have the shields. We are only 30% dampener in. Freezing Trap and Kinnon does try to go for an interrupt. But it looks like maybe interrupt came through after Freezing Trap. Is that what I saw? Scatter into Kinnon for just a second. Big volley and rapid fire. He knows it's explosive. He knows it's going to do a lot of damage. Popping a block. That's Heldrock looking for a bit of an escape here from the water elemental. My goodness. Retreat. Can, uh, can uh, stun blur. Yeah. No, whenever he does Ventral Retreat, yeah, he becomes immune to CC for a little bit. That was definitely a tough one. He kind of just had to guess that a Feral would maybe rush at him from years of experience, I imagine. Cannon take a lots of damage. Death Shock him together with an Explosive. Quite a lot of damage. Rapid Fire just doing a number. Gonna be Cannon recovering a bit of health. Aim Shot is ready to go, though. Brand does connect, letting him lock down Heldrock. Looking for a stun. Does he get to go for it? He needs the most amount of damage. Turtle Shell out of Heldrock just to immune the CC. Got him some big Aim Shot ready to go. Polly out of Cannon. Does interrupt him perfectly oh my god the rapid fire that is so, so good with merlin gonna be up next second to last over our four team one trying to see if he could rush it held rock held rock doesn't have any way to escape this he tried to go for a camera earlier all he can do is control merlin got himself freezing trap at the very best but around that pillar merlin can easily bubble and sprint over to you it's not going to be easy. That hammer also flying super, super close to you. Almost lands it. Held Rock looking to maybe escape. He needs to get a slow into Merlin. He's super low on health. He's almost in the execute range. 
Whatever range damage you can do to Merlin could be huge. Bubble for this death shock. I'm really aggressive bubble as Merlin is just doesn't want to deal with any of this. Hellrock got cooldowns rolling in. Maybe he can go for stun around the corner to stun. Merlin has a human racial to break out of this. If he wanted to, he does try to see if he can get himself a setup versus Heldrock. Heldrock's still super, super low. Volley down for a second. Heldrock got himself the big cooldowns. Rapid fire. Plenty of damage. Shield event is barely holding on, but it is going to stay there. Massive aim shot. Might be a kill shot right here. Potentially. Is it enough? So close. Second. Oh, that arcane shot at the very, very end. Does do him in. Does he have a camo? Does he have anything? Rogue charging in. Feign death. Perfect on the cheap shot. Trinket is available on the Garode scatter right after. He got range of the rogue. Rapid fire behind the pillar. Might be a cloak out of the rogue and a reset. I'm not even lying. I might actually be cloak just for a mark for death or hunter's mark and a reset. Because otherwise Hellbrock at least knows exactly where you are. Flare, he sees you. He can keep range. He can't get close enough to shadow step. He got a freezer trap. He's waiting for you to step. He knows he's gonna step. Oh, another charge trap just root him in place. Oh, Vanish, he still sees you though. He still sees you. He's got sights on you. Cloak of Shadows to remove it. That's a pretty big, big, big cooldown. Sack, maybe that'll be enough. Hellrock needs something here. Stun before the death mark comes out. He got a little bit of health, just very, very little. I think it might be over. Bad Bunny with the bleeds was enough to take down a hunter, but excellent performance by Heldrock. My goodness, what an opener. Massive blaster, and Bad Bunny's not gonna... Yeah, he's just like, you know what? I'm out of cooldowns. This is it. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> we can get another one going, though. If the groups don't go anywhere, we can get Unamas in here, boys. Cragger is going to be up next versus Katarina, but he's not going to chase after the mage. He's playing the arms warrior, which is a fantastic spec. Loving that mug. The orc is coming back in. Full orc horde pride in there <laughs> with everything available. Nova to follow. Cracker got himself a blaze from over to use mobility to catch up to Cat. Cat didn't use a blink to get out of a stun. Does go for the big roar into a second blaze or just keeps on rolling. This guy is just an absolute hurricane. Knocked back out of uh, Katarina. But Cracker does go for a bit of reflect. Stun to Cat does go for the blink. Second stun. You can't stop it. You actually can't stop it. Got him some Warbreaker trinkets into an interrupt right now. Katarina's under a ton of pressure. Oh my goodness. Hopes we go for a poly. Does not even reflect with this one. But Cracker places a banner. I don't know if the banner was placed before the uh, polymorph came out or after. Does have himself a charge. Blink out of Katarina. I don't know if you got any more mobility. But now that they blinked. That's a good spot. Ultra Jump is up and available for Katarina too. I don't know if they're going to get a blink at you available anytime soon. Massive damage out of Touch of the Magic. Cracker is having to go for a Fear. Drink it out of Katarina with a parry to follow. Got himself a leap. You get a little stun. Does Cat have a blink? Does not have a blink. So this is an opportunity for Cracker to actually get some damage into a Shatter? Not Shatter. He is going to go for the second wind healing. Just let himself recover as Katarina goes in for full ice block healing. Cracker, if he's very, very careful with mobility, trying to go for a slow before charging Katarina. Does go for the interrupt on Arcane, which is huge. That cuts off Katarina from being able to blink. Ring of Frost to follow. That is going to be a full CC. Cracker, unless he has mobility, like a leap, it's going to be kind of hard to reconnect. He's going to have himself a second charge. Blink is available. I don't know if he got himself a leap and a stun. Does have himself a leap. That's going to be reverse blink out of Katarina. Does have a third charge. Oh my god, these charges. He's so good at managing charges. That is, <laughs> there's not a lot of compliments that I really can pay. I mean, there's a lot, I guess there's quite a bit of comp competence, compliments I can pay to some of you boys. But like, I feel like he's so good, his charges just, just doesn't feel like a real one. But that's a real compliment, dude. Managing mobility as a warrior effectively is a skill. Especially in 1v1, does get a kick, he doesn't get jukes. You can't juke this man. He knows there's ultra stun into Katarina, does go for the roar. I think the roar connected pretty sure leap is available Polly does not have any way to break it but the banner is down does it does he place banner after you go Polly or does he place banner right before Polly it feels like the Polly lasts the full duration like how does the banner work can you place a banner while polymorph is that a thing because if that's a thing that's kind of nuts Bladestorm is available got him some plenty of mobility with a potentially defensive a scragger hoping to get some damage on the cat doesn't trap them on arcane doesn't mean that katarina's limited mobility into a warbreaker looking for big damage picking up big healing charge right after katarina just use bling they have nothing stunned to follow if only you had a blaze storm in that situation goes in for a fear just to keep katarina locked in but they're still bleeding out oh my god that was so good that was so good because katarina runs circles around these boys and normally for cat paladins death knights warriors are nothing in terms of like competition so watching cracker compete against that oh the man is back up on a throne i want to see how he does against game because game i mean he just does some game breaking stuff pretty regularly 
him and hawk is on an a both do some wild things full burst cracker with a parry that is going to be bleeds uh, he does go for the death mark but i think the death might have gotten parried cracker's still going to take a lot of damage he's got to find a way to mitigate it so he needs heals he needs that uh ignore pain he needs a stun i think it's over yeah there's only so much you can do as a warrior unless you get some back-to-back -back heals or you could parry one of those abilities or something I, maybe dwarf is the only way to deal with it it is a rough one are they really sending grifka first it's gonna be a rough one the game blind hunter griff at least it's a bit of a breather i don't know if he can go for a sap on a griff no he can that's gonna be full dots under the game he might just have to go counter offensive with griff because he's dotted the guy's gonna catch himself a reset oh man it's a tough one because he's bled up he's ruptured unless you can randomly get griff out in the open he does see griff does catch a resale for a second hold on a moment get his shot i think it's over now yeah unless some yeah there's just no way there's just no way that's a rough one dude that's a rough one i guess a sub rogue i feel like maybe that's where hockey's was like you know what maybe i'll wait for some cooldowns maybe he was waiting for the warlock hellstone just to get himself super stabilized that or he was just trying to find himself a winning strategy i don't think there was any way, any way to win that even if you just went in full cooldowns and rogue trinket cloak just get out of there that's it there's not much you can really do griff goes in for a gouge of the saint at least he's got himself hit with a um at least he's landed a blades of justice on a guy at the very bare minimum but yeah that's uh that's uh that's uh, that's gonna be a rough one chat unless we somehow saint has a way to fight against griff possibly goes in for a wall here full setup griff goes in with a sepsis full damage with secret technique just ripping through saying's health completely shield of vengeance the 29 percent dampening shield of vengeance as well as a bubble does get a stun into griff is that gonna be full go trying to go for a full crusade unless he gives some full dots as well as a slow into griff vanish out of the rogue trying to see if he can escape it saying trying to see if he can figure out where griff might have been but the guy did get juked out i am afraid to say a uh, griff sitting down for food from luxury immediately for saying right now he doesn't have much to do unless he also got food he does have food which is gonna force grifka to start his approach a little bit early he's still uh portal human ratio is available for saying doesn't have burning it here secret technique is still a lot of damage taken i think it's over blessing protection just barely keeping him alive unless he's got himself another go griff still has a, tr a trinket no more cloak or shadows though hold on a second blessing of protection is not available for saying but if he can maybe sank the next stun sank for saint maybe you can make someone work off of this because griff does have a trinket but as long as he can stop griff's go blind was actually kind of close does go for the shadow strike yeah there's no way unless you i don't know he could predict the sync on that one right there's just no shot cheap shot it's over it's over cobra trying to see if he can take down the rogue open it up a portal immediately they nerfed these fire portals by 30 percent pvp by the way it doesn't really feel it because it's still doing quite a bit of damage to griff but they did end up nerfing it. Did you slow him? <laughs> Just press another corruption on him. Just trying to conflagrate him around the corner here and there with a succubus. He's trying to see if he can catch himself a reset. Trinket immediately for Cobra. Dropping down Infernal onto Griff. I don't know if he meant to go for a gateway. So that might be a little bit of a misplay. Griff tried to catch himself a reset. Griff? <laughs> Wait, Ford? I think... Did, did, he have to, did he pull the pet back? I think Cobra might have pulled the, pet, uh, the succubus back a little bit too early there. Uh, or maybe hit another key bind. Blind is available versus Cobra. It does take him out before the man even gets a chance here. Griff does shot him out the stun. Gotta give him credit on that one. Super annoying watching rogues, uh, subtlety rogues specifically in what he wants sometimes. But that's a good shot him out, dumb. I gotta, like, uh, jukes and ro ju when rogues do jukes. Also, it's one of those things where you gotta pay respects to that. You know what I mean? You just gotta. <laughs> you just gotta. <laughs> As he gets himself resets back to back under Q, unless you just find him right then and there. Is he dotted? He's out of stealth. Caught a restyle. Blaze Storm. Oh, your arms, I forget. I thought you were fear for some reason. Doesn't have chop it through a rogue. He's got quite a few homies to get through. He's got luxury, advo, and dwell. That's gonna be pretty rough for him to do. At 56% dampening, he's gonna have to channel his inner warrior, his inner Kragar, if he wants to find a way to fight through it. Doesn't have taken down the banner. Oh yeah, doesn't have taken down the banner. Polly to follow for luxury. He got himself a reset. <laughs> that looks so jank. <laughs> is it casting full burst under under he's got himself reflect that's barely keeping him alive there that was a lot of burst all at once and you just couldn't even move out of there at all full blink out of luxury second blink to follow he just reversed it he's playing uh just <laughs> play tag with this guy and you just can't touch him <laughs> oh no 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 explosive ah frost bomb actually didn't kill him i thought that was maybe over 
If Frost Bomb crits, it just does a ludicrous amount of damage. Glacier, it's over. Just spiking them right through the heart. That is a tough one. That is a rough. Let's get us another one going, boys. I'm sure the team wants to get a bit of a rematch. And hopefully they won't be fighting against a rogue the entire time.